When observing muscular action at the molecular level, we can analyze the interaction of myosin and actin. Myosin filaments have two globular heads that can attach to actin very similarly to how the feet would use the ground to create movement. As one head of the myosin filament attaches to the actin, the next head will move the entire myosin filament forward on the actin around the fixed point of the attached head. There has to be some type of reciprocation of force in opposite directions in order for movement to initiate, which in this case comes from the attached myosin head. After ages of evolutionary trial and error, the cell found this to be the most energy efficient and effective path of movement. At such a microscopic level of analysis, it is easy to see how the cell would go into chaos if this function began to falter. With a structure as complex as the human body and unbelievable variable reality, the damage to the individual venturing away from a tensegrity-based gait cycle is less apparent, but that doesn't mean damage doesn't occur.